Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Microsoft SQL Server on your Mac operating system. So as you might already know that you can't install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio directly on your Mac operating system because it's a Windows based application. So we are going to install a different client to connect to our Microsoft SQL Server which is called Azure Data Studio, which is a cross-platform application. And we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server using Docker on our Mac operating system. So let me first show you how you can install Docker on your Mac operating system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Docker. And the first link which will appear here will be from docker.com. So we are going to click on this link and straight away we are on this docker.com website now in order to install docker click on get started now on this page you can see get started with docker and you will see some options to install docker first one is for docker for mac for apple chips that means if you have apple chips like m1 m2 m3 then you can just click on this button if you have Mac with Intel chips, then you can click on this option, which is um, download for Mac, Intel chips. I have a MacBook which supports Apple chips. So I'm going to just click on this uh, download for Mac, Apple chip button, which is going to start the download for this DMG file. So just wait for this download to finish. And once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and let me minimize my browser. So the installation of Docker is really simple. You just need to drag this Docker symbol into your applications folder. If you are using your MacBook's trackpad, then just press command key and then just drag and drop uh, this icon into your applications folder, which is going to start the copying process. You can see copying Docker to applications. Just wait for a few seconds. And once this is copied, we can close this window, eject this Docker from uh, our MacBook. So I can just right click on this Docker icon and then click on eject Docker. Now, once Docker is copied into your applications folder, you can go to your launchpad section and here search for Docker and you will be able to see the Docker icon here. So I'm going to click on this Docker icon, which is going to start Docker on your Mac operating system. At this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds and you will see this kind of window which appears. So here you can see a Docker subscription service agreement and you will also see that Docker is starting on your Mac operating system and at the top you can see uh, this kind of Docker icon, right? So I'm going to click on accept here and now I can see this uh, window which says complete the installation of Docker desktop. The configuration below can be changed later in the settings. For now, I'm going to choose uh, this option which says use recommended settings, which requires the password. I'm going to just click on finish here. And then I'm going to provide my MacBook's password, which I use to log into my Mac operating system. And once that's done, this window appears. You can also see some uh, notifications here, which I'm going to close. So on this next window, Docker will ask you to sign in with your Docker account. The creation of Docker account is really simple. Just click on sign up here, and then it's going to redirect you to this kind of web page where you can provide your email, username, and password, and then click on the sign up button, which is going to sign you up into your Docker account. Now this kind of uh, Docker Hub account is useful when you want to push some images, which are some custom images uh, into your Docker Hub account. And then you also need to pull those images. So I already have the Docker account. So I'm going to click on sign in here. And then I'm going to sign in with my Docker account. And once I'm uh, signed in with my Docker account, I'm going to click allow here, which is going to sign me in in my Docker desktop. 
and here you can see this uh, welcome survey i don't want to uh, give any feedback so i'm going to click on skip survey here and now i can see my docker desktop so let me just close everything here and this is how this docker desktop looks like so once docker is installed on our mac operating system and it's working now let's move to the second step and in this step we are going to install the azure data studio so go to your favorite browser and search for azure data studio and hopefully the top link which will appear here will be from uh, microsoft itself so just click on the link which says azure data studio and then i'm going to click on no here and straight away you can see the download button here and you can also see it's an open source and cross platform application so you can download it on your mac operating system also so i'm going to click on download now here and then when i scroll down a little i will be able to see different options for my mac operating system so i'm using a mac operating system which have apple silicon chips so i'm going to click on this option here but if you are using a mac operating system which support intel chips then you can also click on this option so let me click on apple silicon option so if you have uh, any apple silicon chip like m1 m2 m3 then you can click on this option and you can see the download has been started and it's already finished now this is a zip file so we just need to click on this downloaded zip file which is going to extract this zip file and once this azure data studio uh, file is extracted it's an application file so we can directly drag and drop this application file into our applications folder so just select your file and then drag and drop this uh, azure data studio in your applications folder so i'm going to just drag and drop here and as you can see now azure data studio is present in my applications folder once that's done what we can do is i can just click on launchpad and here i can search for azure data studio and then click on this uh, option which is going to start this azure data studio so for the first time it's going to look like this and it shows uh, some uh, notifications i'm going to click on yes here and then uh, close this notification so this azure data studio interface looks like this so from here you can uh, create a new connection new query new notebook and you can even deploy a server from here so we are going to use this azure data studio as the microsoft sql server client now let's move forward and let's uh, move to the installation and running of microsoft sql server using docker so for this just open your favorite browser once again and then and then search for azure hyphen sql hyphen edge docker image so just write azure hyphen sql hyphen edge space docker and then scroll to the option where it says hub.docker.com and the official image name is microsoft hyphen azure hyphen sql hyphen edge here so i'm going to click on this link you can see it's by microsoft and this is the command using which you can pull this image if you want to read more about the usage of this image you can scroll down and you will be able to uh, get some kind of documentation of how you can run this image using docker so let's go step by step we are going to first uh, pull this image so pulling image is easy just copy this command and then open your uh, terminal and once the terminal is open just give this command which is docker pull and then this official image name i'm going to press enter which is going to pull this azure sql image on my uh, mac operating system so once this image is pulled you will be able to see this image in your docker desktop also so here when you go to the images section you can see this image is now present right 
So now the image is there. We just need to run this image. So to run this image, you can see uh, some documentation here. So this is the command which you can use to run this image and it uses few flags. So first flag is accept Euler. And then when you scroll down here, you will be able to see the explanation of all these flags. So accept Euler is for the end user license terms. So we just need to agree with these license terms and conditions. Then there is this MS SQL SA password, which we will use as a password to log into our uh, Microsoft SQL Server. And then you have this MS SQL PID. So this is the flag we can use to just tell which type of container you want to uh, run. There are two options here, developer and premium. We are going to use the developer option, right? In addition, you can also provide the username. The default username is SA, which stands for system administrator. So using this knowledge, I have prepared a Docker run command. And this command I'm going to give you in the description of this video also. And this command is as follows. So first of all, we just need to write uh, docker run hyphen E, and then we need to accept the Euler, right? So we are going to just write uh, accept Euler is equal to one. Then we will provide the password. Here I have provided a very simple password, but you might want to change this password if you want. Then we have uh, provided the flag uh, for MS SQL PID, and we are using the developer mode here. And the default user here will be the SA user, which is for uh, system administrator role. And the port we are going to map here will be 1433 here. And this will be the image, right? So just uh, copy this uh, command from the description of this video. Go to your terminal once again. And here, just paste this command in your terminal and then press enter which is going to run your docker container so now you can see it gives us this kind of uh, uh, output here that means our docker container is running and using this password and this username we will be able to uh, connect to our microsoft sql server so let's try this Azure Data Studio to connect to this server. You can also see when you go to your de Docker desktop, in the containers, you will see that this SQL server is running. And we have started this uh, 42 seconds uh, ago. And here we are going to create a new connection. So here just click on new and then click on uh, new connection. And then in the connection details, first of all, connection type will be uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Then uh, select input type parameters. Then server here is local host because we are running uh, this Microsoft uh, SQL Server on the local host port 1433. We have forwarded or mapped this uh, uh, port, right? So just write local host here in the server. And the username is SA, right? You can see uh, in this command, the username is SA and the password is this one. So I'm going to copy this password, go to my uh, Azure Data Studio and then paste this password. I can also click on remember password. So from the next time it's going to remember this password. Other parameters, you can leave them as default and then click on connect here and then click on enable trust server certificate and you can see you are connected to your Microsoft SQL server which we are running as a Docker container, right? So here when you click on uh, databases, you will see some uh, default databases here. So you can open any of the databases from this list. So when you click on home here, you can see this option which is called uh, new query on new query here and then I'm going to paste very simple query to create a table and then insert some data into it and the database name here is master for example let me click on run here 
and see these uh, database queries are successful i can go to uh, the local host and then go to databases and then click on master here and then you can see this table here which we have created which is called employees and then see these three dots here you can edit data you have the option for script as create and then you can select top thousand records from here so let's select this third option which is select top thousand and then it's going to show us the content of uh, this table right so everything is working fine here and this is how you can uh, connect to your mysql server which is running as a docker container on your mac operating system using this azure data studio you can also use a docker compose file which is going to look like this so i'm going to put the link of this docker compose file also in the description so instead of this long command which you have pasted in your terminal you can also use this uh, docker compose file to just uh, run this docker compose file and then create your container the command which you can use to run this docker compose file is this one so let me just show this command which is docker hyphen compose space up space up space hyphen d so this is going to start your container and if you want to uh, stop your container instead of up you just write down here okay so this also you can use so this is how you can install and set up microsoft sql server on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video